This is a crazy story from California, um, where a dad, he drove his whole family off a cliff in a Tesla. So, uh, fortunately, they all survived, but when the paramedics arrived, the wife said that he did it on purpose. Now, I've been married for 38 years, I can tell you I love my wife and children very much, and I would never drive them off a cliff. But I've thought about it, I've thought about it. I've... Anybody who's been in the car with screaming ass kids at a cliff available? Either you thought about it or you're lying. <laughs> Look at him. I thought about it, yeah. <laughs> but I was patient. <laughs> kids will drive you crazy. You, you asked me about that bathroom one more damn time, we're going off that cliff, I swear. <laughs> Even the judge would be like, well, the uh, defendant, I mean, hero, I mean, defendant, just please stand up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what I don't understand is how a Tesla can survive going off a cliff, but it can't make it down the street without blowing the f up. I don't understand that. <laughs> yeah. But now we're gonna move on to the dumpster fire that is Fox News. Now, you have got to hear the latest thing they're talking about when it comes to police shooting black people. Many on the left know just who to blame and what to blame. White supremacy. Here's something that Whoopi, the ladies of The View, apparently don't know. White people do get beaten by the police. In fact, far more uh, white people are killed every year by cops than any other race. According to an online organization that tracks this data, 374 white Americans died during police altercations in 2022. If you average that out, a little more than one per day. Um, I don't know if the ladies of The View know any of the names of the people, the 374 people. So based on both academic studies and actual data, there is no systemic racism in policing. It doesn't exist. Now, of course, there are good cops, and I would say that's the vast, overwhelming majority, and there is a small majority of bad cops. <laughs> he said it, small majority of bad cops. That is... <laughs> now, that is a Freudian slip for your ass. <laughs> that is one. That is one. That is one. Um... Obviously, it wouldn't be surprising that police kill more white people than black people, because there are way more of them. Like, way more. That's like uh, more white people die in NASCAR races than black people, of course. <laughs> hey, uh, somebody check on Bubba Wallace. Make sure he all right. Make sure we got make the But Sean is, is right. The police do need to stop killing white people, too. Welcome to the struggle, my brother. I told you. I told you. I told you. You were there. You were. He's like the white Al Sharpton. It's great. Um, and finally, here's a story about why you should always keep your eyes on your children. Meet Mason Stonehouse, the six-year-old with a big appetite. This past Saturday, before his bedtime... I gave him the phone to play, and uh, I wasn't paying attention. I was watching my show. But Mason wasn't playing a game. He was scrolling through the Grubhub app. What Dad didn't know is that Mason was actually placing order after order, and all those orders were being filled. A parade of food delivery. The total damage, nearly $1,000, helped by Mason's generous spirit. And then he tipped 25% on every single order. And that is why you drive your family off a cliff. That's why. <laughs> it, it is true. Only a father would leave a kid unattended that long. Like, that, that would never happen with a mother. You ordered a thousand dollars worth of food. You should be glad that he didn't open your browser history. Ooh. I'd have gave him a thousand dollars just to keep that quiet. You could have all the food you want, just tell your mama. For more, we're joined by Dulce Sloan. Uh, Dulce, what do you... What do you think about this whole Grubhub history thing? Well, I'll tell you one thing. This would never happen with a black family. <laughs> if a black child spent $1,000 on his father's phone, there wouldn't be any heartwarming news story about it. That $1,000 worth of food would be served at that child's funeral. <laughs> You'd never hear from that little boy again. <laughs> Unless there was some white woman talking about him on a true crime podcast. <laughs> little boy dead. $1,000 on my phone where I pay rent? He's dead. He's dead. So why 
Why do you think he was so lucky? I mean, listen, he was lucky, but also he needed to learn not to be so greedy, oh, okay? Yeah. He was lucky because it was a white child, right? <laughs> and the thing is, he didn't have to order $1,000 worth of food all at once. No, little man. You're supposed to order it a little bit every night, right? <laughs> and then you keep this scam going for years. <laughs> Like, you don't walk into your local grocery store with guns blazing. No, 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 no. You just forget to, have to scan half the shit at the self-checkout. <laughs> but you, you got to admit this had a happy ending. Grub, for, Grubhub uh, refunded all the money. What you mean? <laughs> Grubhub gave them all of the money back, refunded it all. Grubhub gave them $1,000 back. The hell, they wouldn't give me seven dollars back with some dry man in my french fries. <laughs> Do you know how hard I'd have to work to get a thousand dollars back from Grubhub? I'd have to start a hashtag, be trending on black Twitter, call the NAACP, have a sit-in at the Grubhub headquarters with the ghost of Martin Luther King. <laughs> uh, a thousand dollars back. <laughs> but listen, I ain't, wait a minute. I ain't got to do all this. I just need to have a baby. Yeah, it's got a baby. It's perfect, yeah. Why, why do you need to have a baby? Well, one, because I've looked like a mother of three since I was 15. <laughs> Two. <laughs> hey, man, listen, I started high school with D cup titties. That should have been way more popular. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid boys respected me. Listen. <laughs> Two, because kids are the ultimate loophole for stealing shit. Oh. Just pretend the baby did it, and you're going to get it for free. Like, oh, no, did my sweet baby boy crawl across my keyboard and order another Chanel bag? Ah! <laughs> you little scamp! Oh! <laughs> somebody come get this baby. He's wild! He's wild! What if the baby snitches on you? First of all, my baby gonna know better, okay? <laughs> Why do I look like having a snitching-ass baby? You crazy? <laughs> Two, who's gonna believe him? He's a baby. <laughs> It's his words against mine, and he only knows three of them. <laughs> Mama's not home, okay? <laughs> they don't know shit. <laughs> Mommy didn't do it. Come on. <laughs> Plus, babies don't have object permanence, okay? How is he gonna snitch on me after I stop existing? <laughs> <laughs> Where's mommy? <laughs> Mommy's not home. <laughs> Who got mommy a Chanel bag? That uh, that would work for a little while, but obviously the baby's gonna be an adult, and, and soon then, then what would you do? Then they get their own baby, and then that's how you build generational wealth. Now that that's a plan. Don't say Sloan, everybody.